When it comes to sports, there's a common saying, it's more than a game. That's something we've witnessed from Bill Russell and Muhammad Ali to Colin Kaepernick. Athletes have used their platform to fight for things bigger than themselves. But sports can also impact culture, from fashion to music. In today's NBA, players use their pregame entrances into a stadium to rock all the latest fashion trends, some even donning magazine covers. Other athletes have started rap careers, and many athletes are mentioned in mainstream songs. And this all started with one man, the biggest culture sports icon of them all, a six-foot basketball phenom from Hampton, Virginia. Here's why Allen Iverson is sports biggest culture icon. Before being in the NBA spotlight, Iverson played basketball at Bethel High School in Hampton, Virginia, the same city where he was born on June 7, 1975. Iverson, after high school, went to Georgetown University and played basketball under coach John Thompson. At Georgetown is where Iverson began to make a name for himself, leading the Hoyas to an Elite Eight appearance in March Madness' his sophomore year. Iverson was then drafted first overall in the 1996 NBA draft by the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, as much as sports is bigger than a game, we can't help but mention Iverson's impact on the culture of sports, being known for memorable moments like the 2001 NBA Finals, where in an impressive game one, Iverson hit a shot over Los Angeles Lakers point guard Tyron Lou, and as Lou fell to his feet, he stepped over him. This became one of the most memorable moments of Iverson's career. So memorable that Tyler Lockett, a Seattle Seahawks receiver, impersonated this moment after scoring a touchdown versus the Carolina Panthers in a 2018 Week 12 game of the NFL season. Iverson also had another infamous moment in a press conference talking about practice, which even got a reference in the song Foolin' Around by Mac Miller in his 2009 album, The High of Life. Speaking of music, Iverson at one point started a rap career of his own. Despite the negative reviews and his one and only single, 40 Bars, Iverson blended hip-hop and sports, especially seeing athletes like Damian Lillard releasing full albums nowadays. Iverson was still mainstream, though, in music, being mentioned in a multitude of songs. Here are some of the examples of songs mentioned in Iverson. How can I be inhumane in a world full of animals of pure life Iverson handles? And that's around the time that your idols become your rivals. You make friends with Mike, the guy that AI him for your survival. Play the front row seat watching Iverson. First class air crash when I'm flying in. Iverson's biggest culture impact, though, came with fashion. Iverson was known for his infamous style, which wasn't accepted like player outfits are today. Iverson's baggy clothes style was seen as unprofessional, and Iverson was the face of a movement of players that dressed however they wanted. It got to a point where then-NBA Commissioner David Stern implemented a strict dress code on October 17, 2005. The code required business suits and attempted to ban things like t-shirts, jerseys, shorts, and chains. Iverson and many other players spoke out about the code. Some feeling it was racist towards black players for not letting them express their culture and their love for hip-hop. As time went on, the code has slowly gotten less strict and players have the freedom to wear whatever they want. And most of this is attributed to Allen Iverson for speaking out when it happened. Despite the media portraying Iverson as a thug off the court and a ball hog on the court, Iverson has had a positive impact on sports culture. From memorable moments to hip-hop, to fashion, Iverson taught athletes one simple thing. Just be yourself. To sum it up, when you just talk about practice, we sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice.